I just had to bring you back to see the corner tank. Just straightened up a little bit. Just clipped back some of the plants, replanted them someplace else. And uh, it really looks like a, a pretty garden. So I had to make a very short clip, I hope, to uh, give you that update and let you appreciate the garden as these plants give many different textures and colors and uh, all sorts of balance to the depth that this tank has. This goes back, oh, probably a good 24 inches. And you can see in that Amazon sword plant, some of the depth now that Pam has replanted it way in the back there. And just to give you some idea, it goes way back there. And so some of the frilly type plants right here have been replanted uh, from the other side of the tank. Over here we had quite a bit of that growth shading out the entire corner of the tank. So I clipped them all back and put them over here. The fish don't seem to mind no matter what I do to it. So we're looking at the garden aspect of it. And uh, the corkscrew valve that I like so much uh, has faded from the left hand side and I got some more and replanted to the right along with some plants in the office tank. And it's holding its own right now and uh, hopefully if it gets enough light along with that kabamba right above it. Remember how thick that was? Not as thick anymore. And we've got the red kabamba and the green kabamba right there. And it gives it just enough variety and color right next to the Madagascar lace plant that you see so tall right there. And again, the leaves are staying on the narrow side. Don't know what that's about. They've branched out in the other tanks. Anyway, just wanted to give you a brief, quick update. And uh, with that, I wish you a very happy holiday season. And uh, we'll see what else we can do. And just a quick update. This is the mess that the bow tank looks right now. And I've got to get into it this afternoon and really clear out some of those plants, especially up in the top there, blocking the light. And you'll see the... Uh, well, you almost can't see it. The Madagascar lace plant has the broader leaves now in this particular tank. Again, the fish seem to love the fact that it, it's like a jungle in here. But I've got to do something with all of this plant overgrowth and floating plants and so forth. And so maybe we'll catch up and give you an update on that later on this afternoon if I get a chance. And uh, the office tank is just as bad in terms of overgrowth right now, but it's got literally hundreds of tiny babies all over the place from the various pregnant females that I've moved back into that tank. Uh, they all seem to be doing very well. Anyway, this is the before shot, and maybe later on I'll capture an after shot. And of course it is the Christmas season, so the uh, very tall Christmas tree, all heavily decorated, sits right next to the tank. And no, there's not any presents under the tree for the fish. We can't be bothered with that. But we've gotten a, a narrow, tall tree in a recent year. And so that just got replaced and decorated. And so the fish have their own Christmas decor. And just to complete a very short tour, here's the before situation with the office tank. Just solid plant growth. Just did a water change, so there's some room up front that wasn't there even one day ago. But as you can see, the plant growth is just solid. And uh, limiting some of the growth of that corkscrew valve that I put in here, that you see right dead center. Uh, it's doing okay, but I need to trim back, especially that uh, frilly plant that I pointed out in the corner tank for you, which is right here. It grows very well with the fertilization program. And so this will be 
what it looks like before and later on we'll show you what it looks like afterwards. Again there's many 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 small babies little white dots all throughout that very protective overgrowth. Don't think you can see any of them but they're all over the place right up toward the top there. And you can only imagine how that very tight frilly plant uh, is protective of those babies.